Hello everyone and welcome to the guide for the reworked Talon, the Blade's Shadow. With the recent lethality buffs, Talon has been getting a lot of attention as one of the best champions to carry with as of patch 7.3. His E ability makes him become an excellent roaming tool for his team, as does his damage which makes him able to one-shot any target that comes across his path. Let's start off with Talon's abilities. His passive makes his target bleed if it has been hit 3 times by Talon's spells. This can be procced fairly quickly by the lane using your W and Q to get a nice bit of poke. His Q has two ways you can use it. The first one is when you're in melee range and then it acts as an auto attack reset dealing a nice bit of damage with a guaranteed crit. The second part deals a bit less damage but it can be used from further away to gap close to your opponent. If you're not in melee range, it won't have a guaranteed crit. His W is an AoE damaging ability. When you cast your W, Talon throws 3 blades in front of him dealing damage to everything they pass through. After a short delay, they retract, dealing damage while coming back to Talon. This ability is very good for procking your passive since it can hit your target 2 times and then by using your Q, you can proc your passive fairly easy. His E is what makes him cool after the rework. When you use E, Talon jumps over any obstacles you target, marking them for a few minutes and your E goes on a 1 second cooldown. Every marked obstacle can't be jumped over for a few minutes. This ability can make for some pretty killer ganks and some really cool escapes. Finally, his R. Talon throws out a ring of blades dealing physical damage to all enemies they pass through and gains invisibility for up to 2.5 seconds, gaining bonus movement speed for the duration. When Talon emerges from invisibility, the blades converge to his location, dealing the same physical damage to all enemies they pass through. Breaking invisibility with basic attack or Q causes the blades to converge to his target instead. For your runes, you want to take Marks of Lethality, Glyphs of Magic Resist, Seals of Scaling Health, and Quintessences of Attack Damage. For your Masteries, you want to take 12, 18, 0 with Thunderlords as your keystone. For your Summoner Spells, you want to take Flash and Ignite for that extra kill pressure. Let's go into the laning phase. In lane, you just want to focus on farming. If your lane opponent comes too close to you or disrespects your damage, you can easily go all in, but don't force kills in lane. You can easily poke people with your W and farm at the same time. You want to max out your W first, then your Q, and then your E, and your Rolt whenever you can. After you have asserted your dominance over your mid laner, you can easily start roaming. I usually pick up an early mobility boots after my serrated dirk and look for roams. You can easily dive the enemy bot lane if you're sure you won't get cc'd, because you can easily one shot the enemy AD carry with your ultimate and ignite. You can also use your E while roaming to get faster to the location you want to go to. Also a tip for your E, don't use it unless you need to. When I started practicing Talon, I would use it all the time because it's so much fun jumping everywhere but I did die a few times because I wasn't able to jump over a wall over which I jumped just for fun, so play smart around where you use your E. A cool tip for your W, if you're chasing someone and you need to flash for him, you can use your W first and then flash immediately after you cast it, that way your target won't see the W animation being played, but your blades will immediately fly towards your target after you flash. Regarding your build, you want to go Boots of Mobility, followed by Yumu's Ghostblade, then you want to get in Edge of Night, followed by Black Lever into Dustblade of Draktar, and then either go for Last Whisper item, or for more defensive items like Guardian's Angel. Now if you play Talon pretty aggressively and just roam and get kills around the map, there's a high chance of you ending the game before 30 minutes. But if you do get to the late game, you will just want to get picks with your ult before the fight starts. Or just wait for your team to initiate and then use your ult to get on the enemy backline. And that pretty much wraps up Talon Guide. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment down below on what you guys think. I really want to hear your guys' feedback. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. But thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and good luck on the Rift.